So today is 17th of December and it's my last night in York. I already packed up my room. So it's quite empty now and I'm on my barefoot because I packed my slippers already. So I can't wear it now. You can take a look at my room. It's empty as if I just move in, but now I'm leaving with my barefoot. Yeah. Like I cleaned up all my things inside the wardrobe, so it's empty right now. And also, this is my bed. Very simple and empty. stay for my last few days in the UK and it's just right across King's Cross and it's really bigger than I thought even though it doesn't have any lift so literally somebody helped me to carry my luggage I actually feel bad for him to carry my luggage but what can I say and this is my room it's quite big it's bigger than the point A that I lived in and this is me and this is probably the toilet and the bathroom. Yeah. King's Cross Station is just right outside my window. Over there. And later on, I'm going to take the metro. It's probably on the left hand side. And later on, I'm going to take the metro and go to Lancaster Square. Lancaster? Then take my COVID test. Finger crossed that I'm both negative. I'm so afraid, even though I know that I didn't get infected any, like there's no possibility for me to get infected. Still, it makes you very paranoid. So, let's hope. I finished my COVID test and it was literally the most unpleasant experience I ever had. Like they poke into your nose and your throat as deep as they can. And also they need my blood test for antibody. So they take my blood also. And, but hopefully that like, I'm both negative so I can finally go back. It makes me so nervous to be fair and i'm now in chinatown it's because it's like that in Leicester square so i was like why not let's take a visit Also, bread with red bean inside, which is very traditional Asian bread. I don't know like why I'm going back to China in two days and I'm buying Chinese food. But still, because I was in Chinatown and just by look at them, how can you resist to buy them? 
my bottom for my breakfast for tomorrow and the day after, like the day I'm going back. And also, I bought some Cantonese food. Yeah, it's like I don't know what's the English for it. It's called I'll search it up, but it's like cha shao fan. Yep. So good, it looks so good. Hold on. Dun, 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 dun. And they got three different kinds of meat in it, which is pork, duck, and chicken, I reckon. It's just awesome. You know, I don't know how it tastes, but I couldn't find a very authentic one in Beijing either, so and I miss Cantonese food so much so I just bought it here and I also bought fries from McDonald's I don't know, I'm feeling a bit stressed so I'm like stress eating right now I also got a brownie from the market outside of King's Cross Station it looks quite delicious here, the brownie uh, I'm going to like, watch some movies while I'm eating and spend the rest of my day inside a hotel. It's so good. Today is technically the last day I'm in the UK and I don't really have the feeling to go outside because by just staying at my room and I can look at King's Cross from my window which is really beautiful I'll show you guys and I guess in the afternoon I might go out to have a walk for a bit since this probably will be the last freedom I will have in the next half month so I need to cherish the time I can still walk outside and see people, see sunlight and fresh air So basically, I was dressed up to go out and to look at London for the last eye but unfortunately, it's raining outside and the rain is big heavy so I might not go out Sad And now I'm waiting for my COVID result. Even though like my IgM test, the antibody one is negative, I still have the PCR one to check out whether I'm positive or negative or not. Even though I believe that I'm definitely negative, but we still need to wait for the result to tell. 
hopefully I can go to bed early today and I'll start my movie routine and maybe do some planners for my quarantine because I literally have a lot of things to do during quarantine such as my assessment I got two assessments and also I have a lot like a bunch of lists for a movie which I, I entitle it before I'm blind around 88 81 movies also I want to sleep and just lay in my room basically you can only lay in your room during quarantine Since I'm going to spend my Christmas and my New Year in quarantine, I need things like that to compensate my spirit, my soul. So, an extremely good news. I'm both negative. Antibody test and PCR swab test. I can go back safely, yay. Like, even though I know the result will definitely come out on time, but the process of waiting is extremely exhausted and makes you anxious a lot. However, I can go back. Yeah, like I already think of the worst case scenario, like if I didn't get the result on time or what if I'm positive, what should I do? Things like that, but I can finally go back. I'm so happy. After trying for four times, I finally get my QR code and I can finally get on board safely right now. So tomorrow I'll wake up at seven. So I'll take a bath before I go to the airport. And also I need to manage to get all my luggages onto the metro, then to Heathrow, which is not exciting at all because my luggage is super heavy. I don't even know why my luggage is that heavy, but things come out at that. But hopefully this time everything will be better and I can be allocated to a better seat. Fingers crossed.